Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and yes, it is that time again. The Sephora VIP sale is currently going on and I have a haul for you. I typically will just do one big order and then a follow-up order later because I'm inevitably going to be swayed by the other videos that I see. But this time I decided I really wanted to go in store because there were some new products makeup products specifically that I wanted to see in person before I decided to buy and I'm very much glad that I did. Now, don't let this itty bitty bag fool you because it is packed full. The uh, associate who rung me up, she was like, are you sure you want just one bag? It might be a little heavy and I was like, no. One bag is fine. It's better if I come home with one bag rather than two because my husband will think that I spent less than I did. But let me be very clear with you. I do not go bananas in a way that is not sustainable for me in a financial way. I save up for this sale. I use gift cards. I use cash back. I use everything I possibly can to be as responsible as possible when buying things like makeup, skincare, hair care, things like that. So I joke about, you know, not wanting my husband to know how much I spent, but I'm very safe when it comes to things and trying to do things in the best way possible. Super rambling, I apologize. But I did pick up some skincare, some hair care, and some makeup. However, I do also have an order that I did place because not everything that I wanted was either in stock or carried at that Sephora. All right, enough of the rambling. Let's talk about what I have in this bag. So I did pick up one hair care product. So this is from Kerastase. I have been really curious about trying Kerastase for a while. This is in their resistance line. This is the resurfacing, strengthening milk, blow dry care for damaged hair. I really like a leave-in cream for heat styling. I usually double up with some spray-ins and things like that. My hair is very thick. Um, it has curl to it. It is really wild today. Um, but I am running low on the Bumble and Bumble one that I use. And so I thought, you know what, this sale is a great time to maybe try out something new. I've seen a lot of buzz about Kerasauce and I haven't tried anything from them. So I thought this was going to be kind of a good stand-in for what I'm already using and hopefully I like it just as much. It is a little bit more expensive than the Bumble and Bumble by about $10, but I figured during the sale, it's a good time, 20% off really does help. So I am very excited to give that a try. Um, I did pick up some skincare from the sale. Ooh. You'd think I probably could have done this in a way that was a little bit more organized, uh, but no. So I did, of course, pick up my Holy Grail, my Pharmacy Green Clean, favorite makeup melting balm of all time, of all time. I love this so, so much. I technically do still have two more of the little ones that I got in the winter holiday set, and I'm just tired of using those, to be honest with you. The last, um probably four or five that I've used have all been scented and they haven't been bad scents by any means but I just I wanted the original I missed the original so I decided to go ahead and pick one up I will use the other ones I'm just going to take a break and use the OG for a while because it is still my absolute favorite and I'm so happy to have it back and I cannot wait to break into it tonight um, I also picked up from Merit. I'm very excited about this. This is the Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. I have been very curious about this for a while. And in fact, in a Sephora order, I did pick up one of the samples that they had a code for or something. And I really, really like it. So I knew during the sale that I was going to pick up a full size. And it's just been doing really nice things for my skin. So it is this sort of dual phase sort of thing. You shake it up and it, you know, emulsifies together. And then a couple of pumps, pat it into your skin before moisturizer. So after cleansing, but before moisturizing. And it's just such a beautiful step to help keep my skin really just plump and hydrated and beautiful. Um, I think a lot of people have used this as like a primer and have used it right before makeup. I haven't tried it that way. I've been just following the package instructions and I've really, really been liking it. So I am very excited to have a full size for when this sweet little baby runs out. 
Now the last skincare item that I picked up, I got bamboozled. No, not really, not really. So when I was in the skincare section, I was looking for the Cloudberry toner from, uh, ooh, my brain just uh, went silent for a second from, I don't know, I'll pop it up. I can't think right now. But I was looking for that and the associate was like, well, you could buy that, but I personally don't think it's as great as anything because, you know, it's just new and so everyone's talking about it. It was like the really good ingredients are kind of towards the middle. I would have a different recommendation for you. And I was like, well, okay, sure. What do you think I should use? Um, and he was like, have you ever heard of Dr. Dennis Gross? And I was like, yes. Um, personally, I have not had the best experiences with Dr. Dennis Gross and I think it comes from the fact that the only times I've used the products they've been included in like BoxyCharm boxes and so they haven't necessarily been like the thing that's best for my skin so I just haven't been wowed by it. So he was talking about the Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel Pads and the reason that I let him continue on is because I have heard a lot of people talking about these khaki specifically and about how they're so great. I am scared of them a little bit and I did tell him that. I'm just always nervous about peels because I am really nervous about my sensitive skin. But he made me feel a little bit more calm about it, made some really great points about it. So I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and buy it. And then I got to the register. These are expensive. Expensive. These were $92 for 30. The toner that I went in for was 38. So I'm going to keep them and I'm going to use them. Obviously, I was too embarrassed at the register to tell her not to ring me up for them um, because I, I don't know, but I was. And so I am, I, <laughs> I am going to use them and definitely I will be getting back to you as far as how I feel about them. They do have kind of a unique concept in that there are two steps to the product. You've got the um, peel pad itself and then you have a neutralizer afterwards. And that was kind of an interesting idea. He did make a probably valid point that, you know, when you have acids, you don't necessarily want to be walking around with them on your face all day long. I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, they have to be formulated in a safe way to begin with. So I don't really know, but it was especially since I'm nervous about chemical exfoliants kind of made some sense to me. So I don't know. Like I said, I will use them and I will report back to you as far as how I feel about them. Now let's go ahead and let's jump into how I got this beautiful face of makeup and the new makeup that I purchased in the sale. So I was somewhat good and did not pick up a full face of makeup. So I decided everything that I'm going to put on today is going to be something you can get from Sephora, but I'm only going to talk about what I picked up during the sale. Everything else will be linked for your convenience down below. So I have already applied my eyeshadow because shocking, I didn't pick up an eyeshadow palette. I know who am I, but I also didn't pick up a new foundation. I didn't pick up any new brow products or cream bronzer, which is everything that you currently see on my face. But I did pick up, um, at this point in time at least, one of the new LYS cream blushes. There were two shades that I wanted, but the Sephora that I went to was sold out of one of them. So this is the one we're gonna be using today. This is in the shade Curvy. It is on the peachier side, but look at this packaging. It is so stinking cute. I love the LYS aesthetic, but the shade itself, let me see if I can get a little bit of a, yeah. So they are quite intense in the container, but I think once it's blended out on the cheeks, it'll be a lot nicer. But I'll be honest, that is what kind of turned me off from Bubbly, which was kind of a pinkier shade that I had been looking at. When I saw it in store, it was wild. It was wild. So I'm not going to apply directly to my face. I just applied a little bit more to the back of my hand. And I'm going to take my Rose Ink little angled brush that came with the foundation. I like it better for um, kind of cheap products. So I'm just going to take and pick up a little bit that's on my hand and get it really worked into the bristles. 
and then take it onto my cheeks. Oh, that's so pretty. I love a glowy blush, especially going into the warmer months. I just think it is so freaking flattering. Look at that. That's really, really pretty. Let me see if I can get some more on my brush and then we'll go on to the other side. And that's so nice. Look at that. Okay, now I'm very excited. The other shade that I ordered is the shade Focused, which I think is going to be a little bit more of kind of a dusty pink. So hopefully it won't be quite as vibrant, but of course you will see it once that order arrives. But so far, that's looking really, really, really pretty. And I'm happy with it. The way that I've applied it, it isn't over the top, but it still looks, like you can still see my skin through it, so it looks as natural as blush is going to look, and I'm really, really fond of that. Now I am gonna go in with my Tower 28 Concealer. This is not new, I've talked about this ad nauseum, and it is still one of my favorites. But I always do like to do my concealer after my cream blush and bronzer, and if I'm doing a cream highlight, then I'll do it after that too. That way, if it gets a little bit out of control, the um, face products, then I can very easily go in and kind of bring that shape back with the concealer. And as I said, this has been one of my favorite concealers because it just looks so stinking pretty. And it blends out really nicely. The shade works so well for me. And I cannot say enough good things about it. I've, I haven't heard many people who haven't liked it, but I feel like the ones that I have heard that aren't as much of a fan tend to have a little bit more um, of an oily complexion. So perhaps that is kind of the, the reasoning there. But for the most part, I've had really good experiences with it. And I do have... I do have some under eye wrinklage going on. So I do want to set it though. And for that I did, I picked up the Givenchy Prism Libre powder. I wanted this last year during the sale and I, would, I didn't pick it up because I was trying to be responsible. But I'm so excited for it. I regretted not picking it up before. <clears throat> and Ooh, I tapped out probably a little bit too much. That let out a whole bunch. So this is, of course, the powder that has the four different chambers in it. You kind of mix it all together and it's supposed to create a very flattering look. I picked up shade two. I was debating between shade two and shade three. Shade three has more pink in it. And I'm honestly wondering if maybe that should have been the way that I went, but we are going to press through. I thought about picking up the mini, but it is so stinking small. It is so stinking small. And it's half the price of the full size, but I think it only has like a third or a quarter of the amount in it. And the math person in me, which is very small, uh, just couldn't do that. So I am looking for my puff. Give me just a second. I thought I was prepared and clearly I wasn't. All right, Puff has been acquired. I mentioned before that I have completely rearranged in here and I thought I remembered where I put it, but I didn't. So this one is honestly my favorite Puff. It is from the Sephora brand and I was planning on picking up another one during the sale until I saw that they had redesigned it and it's now a different shape, which is such a bummer because I love this Puff so, so, so much. It is squishy without being too floppy and it picks up just the perfect amount of product every time. And I love that I can fold it in half or I can keep it big, like it's perfect. And I guess I was the only one who thought so. <laughs> Cause that's usually why things get redesigned. But I am such a fan and this looks really, really, really pretty. Obviously because everyone's gone bananas over it. It did not sink into my fine lines. And yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to take a brush for the rest of my face. So just sort of dipping it in, tapping it out, and then just lightly set the rest of my face. 
I do have balanced to dry skin, so I do go very lightly on powder, but I do use it because it just makes me feel more confident when applying powder over cream products to have a set base. That's looking really, really pretty. It didn't diminish my base products too aggressively. Sometimes when you have a cream product and then you powder over the top of it, it pulls all of the vibrancy out of it, depending on the powder. But this didn't do that. You can still see a lot of the blush there, so that makes me really, really happy. Again, I do go very light-handed, so keep that in mind as well. But let's talk about blushes after I pop on some bronzer, because of course I didn't pick up any bronzer. I am still living the Gucci life when it comes to bronzer. I love this bronzer so, so much, partially because it is really nice and fair for my skin, but it does blend out to a little bit more of a rosy type of brown, which on me, and the way that my skin is works really well. I feel like it is just a lot more natural because if I am in the sun, A, I don't tan, <laughs> but if I were, it does have kind of that pinky undertone to it because there's probably a little bit of burn that goes on as well. So for me, this looks really, really natural. It blends out so beautifully every single time. It's looking a bit harsh um, in the camera, I think because I have really bright lights but this is such a beautiful, beautiful bronzer and I absolutely live for it. It is so pretty. But I did pick up a whole bunch of blush. I have been so blush bananas over the past couple of years. I don't know who I became. I spent most of my life terrified of blush because I had so much natural redness to my skin. And I think as I got older and my skincare game got better, it kind of diminished some of that natural redness to a degree. And because I learned a lot more about how to properly do my makeup, I became a lot less scared of blush. And when, when Rare Beauty announced that they were releasing a powder blush, I knew that I was going to pick it up for two reasons. A, I have really enjoyed the vast majority of what I have tried from Rare Beauty. I think they're such a solid brand. Um, but also they are glowy blushes and I just mentioned how much I love a good glowy blush. So I did pick up three. I am trying really hard not to pick up any others because part of me wants to just buy the whole range, which is ridiculous. I mean, honestly, three blushes is ridiculous as well. Oops. Um, but the three that I picked up are, we have Hope, Joy, and Love. Love is the one I'm most excited to try and the only one that I haven't worn yet. But I don't think it is going to go with the look we have on our face today. We're going a little bit more on the peachy side. So for that reason, I think we're going to go with Joy. Once I can get it open. And then it has, of course, the same compact that if you have any of the highlighters will look very familiar to you. And then this is what the shade looks like. It is incredibly beautiful. I am so happy with these. Let me go ahead and open up the others and I'll show you what they all look like because they are similar, but they're also different. And I think that that's important to see. Now I have also seen a lot of people asking, other people, not me obviously, um, have been asking if these accentuate texture and Obviously, they are going to a little bit because they do have that beautiful glow to it. However, I have noticed on me, it doesn't emphasize texture in an aggressive way. I am very grateful that my skin has been pretty smooth lately, so perhaps that is part of why that is. But I would say start small and then build up, and I think that will help. So this is the shade Love. This is the one that I haven't tried yet, but I am so incredibly excited for. I cannot wait to put this on my face. This is the shade Hope. And that is what 
she looks like there and again just so pretty and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all these on the back of my hand as well so that you can see what the shades look like but they are just so well done they're very finely milled super super smooth this is what they look like on the fingers and then let me go ahead this is what they look like on the back of my hand hopefully it's focusing enough and it's not too washed out but that is what they look like and i am so happy with them so far okay enough rambling let's put these on my sweet little face and for this also i've just been using a really really fluffy brush so that i can get a good distribution they are really nicely pigmented so be gentle when you tap in you only want to go real lightly and you can already see there's a bunch on there so i'm going to tap off just a little bit and then pat over and look how pretty i am so in love with these i do take just a little bit over my nose Just because it is allegedly that type of year, like a time of year, like I said, the weather where I am is incredibly unpredictable, but I just really love it so much. And I think this is just another banger of a release from Rare Beauty. And again, I want to pick up the rest, but I know how irresponsible that is because I have an incredible amount of makeup, but they're so pretty. Anyway, I will stop rambling. I did also though pick up a highlighter from Iconic London. I don't have much from Iconic London, but when I saw this released, I knew I really, really wanted it. I am still such a highlighter girly. I will always be a highlighter girly, I think. And this just looked stunning. I had been kind of on the fence between this one and the new ones from Fenty, oh, I want to try that so bad, but they're $40. Uh, and then the new one from One Size, because I love Wicked. The one from One Size was too deep when I swatched it. But this one from Iconic London, when I swatched it on my hand, was just so, so beautiful. It reminded me so much of Becca, which I still miss Becca so much. But... Look at that. Ooh, it's just that beautiful, really shiny, wet kind of highlighted look that isn't too much. Like, it isn't going to be sparkly or chunky. Just kind of really look at that. Ooh, I am such a fan. I feel like Iconic London is a really underrated brand. And I feel like that's because A, it doesn't have a lot of releases, which I appreciate. Like, I have spoken before about the fact that I don't love when brands have release after release after release. Like, I want to be able to enjoy my makeup a little bit without it being, you know, outdated as far as the beauty community goes. Which I know really doesn't mean anything, but... I don't know I just I want to be able to enjoy what I have for at least a little while before the marketing comes for me that's what it really comes down to look at how pretty that is rest of the makeup done and we are down to the lips and you guys I only picked up two lip products are you shocked I'm shocked I usually go bananas with lip products and it shows but I only picked up two I picked up two bullet lipsticks I have the new one from makeup by Mario as well as the new one from Merit. So let's go ahead and take a look at both of these. I went in with the idea that I wanted to pick up more sort of springy summer type colors without going too wildly outside of my comfort zone because then I would just never wear them. But I, I, I have a type <laughs> when it comes to honestly everything, but lipstick specifically, I always just end up managing to pick up the same shades over and over and over again. So hopefully I haven't done that this time as well, but 
we'll see we'll see so let's go ahead and start with the one from merit now this is the new signature lip lightweight matte lipstick i picked mine up in the shade quart it has the standard merit packaging which i think is just so fun and unique and then the bullet itself is a little bit on the kind of brighter side without being too overly pink so let me give a nice swatch of that for you so we've got this one which i think will be really pretty we'll go ahead and we'll try it on it's got a texture that i recognize hold on That's pretty. That's very pretty. It has one of those like slick matte textures. I hope you know what I mean, where it goes on and it's got a nice kind of slide to it, but it's still matte. So it's still going to leave you feeling hydrated, but it also feels more like it sits on top of the lips rather than kind of sinks into them, which in some cases can be good. In some cases can feel a little bit funny. But I think the color is really very pretty. This is exactly what I was kind of going for in more of a spring to summer type of look because it has that sort of brightness to it without being over the top. So I really do like this, but we are going to go ahead and take it off and we're going to try on the Make It By Mario one as well. All right, so the Makeup by Mario one is the Super Satin Lipstick. I got mine in the shade Dumbo. This is what the bullet itself looks like. Very heavy, has this nice magnetic cap to it. And then the shade itself looks like this right here. <laughs> I feel like it looked a lot more unique in the store when I was there. Uh, but this is definitely a shade that is a me shade because I probably own a lot of these. Like I said, I have a type. Let's give it a try. That is really pretty though. There's a reason that you have a type. Like you know what you like and that's okay. I like the feeling of this one a little bit better than I like the Merit. I still really like the Merit, don't get me wrong. This has more, uh, and it's a satin rather than matte, so that's going to contribute to it as well. But it feels more like it is sinking into my lips in a nourishing sort of way versus sitting right on top of it. It's a really pretty shade. Again, it's a very Ashley shade. I have this shade over and over again in my collection. But we also know that that means it'll get used. It has a really nice light vanilla cupcake -y smell to it, which I do like as well. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. I think I picked two winners there. What do you think? Which one did you like better? And have you picked up either one of these? I'd love to know. But this is the final look. I am really, really happy with the first impressions that I have of all of these products so far. Like I said, I've only worn them once, maybe a handful of times when we're talking about the uh, Rare Beauty blushes. But so far, I'm really very impressed. That comes as no surprise though. These are some really highly rated products, especially when we're looking at the Givenchy powder. Everybody raves about this powder and I can absolutely see why. It sits very lightly on the skin, but it definitely is blurring and just makes you look beautiful without trying too hard. So I am happy that I finally, finally picked that up. Um, I do really quite like this LYS blush. I don't think I said before, but this is the higher standard cream glow blush stick. Mine is in the shade Curvy and I really am excited about it. I have not only gotten into blushes in general, but I am so much more comfortable with cream and liquid products. So I'm very, very happy to have this and I'm excited for the other shade to come in the mail. Of course, the blushes like 
Come on. They're wonderful. They're lovely. I'm very excited. I think I've talked about it a little bit too much. The fact that I just think they're stunning. They're beautiful. And I keep like doing something weird over here. <laughs> I apologize. But they're beautiful. If you have been on the fence about them, I say pick up at least one. I feel like with Rare Beauty, you cannot go wrong. Um, but if you do have a lot of texture, maybe steer clear because again, with them being a glowy product, they are going to enhance a little bit of that texture, but I don't see it being like aggressively or like really disturbingly emphasized or anything like that. It's just something to be aware of. The highlighter, this is going to be my new go-to. As much as I still do really want to try the Fenty one, I don't know if I need to. This is beautiful. This is so stinking pretty. It just gives the most gorgeous wet look to my cheeks, which is exactly what I am typically looking for. I don't like things that are glittery and chunky. Um, I don't feel like this one does a job of emphasizing texture. However, it is on top of the Rare Beauty, which as we've already stated, can just a little bit emphasize texture. So I have to wear it on its own a little bit, kind of get more of a feel for it. But so far, big, big fan of this. Um, this is the Lit and Luminous Baked Highlighter. It is in the shade Universal. This is the only shade it comes in. Um, I don't think I'm qualified to speak to as to whether or not I feel like it's universal. However, because it goes on so sheerly, I think that a ton of people can get good use out of this um, because it's not going to, at least from what I can tell, not going to leave like an ashy streak. So I feel like a lot of people can get away with this, but I, I don't, I don't love it when brands use the term universal because things rarely, rarely actually are. And then the lip products, is that really all? Yeah, I think so. The lip products, I already said, beautiful, comfortable, lovely. I don't know how they wear throughout the day. This is my first time applying each of them. So I'll have to come back and let you know in a future video how I feel everything, to be honest, wore throughout the day. But so far, I'm very, very happy. And of course, I can't wait for my other order to arrive because, you know, it's just fun. So if you have made it this far, thank you so, so much. I apologize for all the rambliness. I'm clearly very much out of practice. So hopefully I can tighten things up um, as we go along. But if you've made it this far, thank you so much. If you have yet to subscribe, I hope that you'll consider doing so. And don't forget to like and comment below. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you're having an amazing day. And I will see you next time. Bye.